Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Y'all, it has been a minute since I filmed a video. I am talking kind of low because baby girl is taking a nap. I don't want to wake her up. I've been a little busy. Uh, <laughs> I am 30 weeks pregnant with baby boy. Baby girl just turned one years old and she is walking, talking, just doing the most. So uh, I haven't been able to put out a video like I've wanted, but hopefully soon, probably um, after baby boy gets here, I can start um, making some holiday videos like we did last year. Those were pretty fun. I have some, some good ideas and stuff like that. But today, I would challenge myself to make dinner and dessert for under $20. In today's economy, I don't know if I'm gonna meet that $20. I hope, uh, I hope I can make it though. But for dinner, I thought we could have pasta with prosciutto and peas. And then for dessert, I thought we could make an Oreo icebox cake. So two meals for under $20. And to make something that is quick and easy and of course affordable. Um, and so I thought that that would be the challenge for today's video. Okay, so we just pulled up to the grocery store and I thought that I would take you guys in with me to get everything that we need for both dinner and dessert. So again, the goal is to stay under $20 for both dinner and dessert. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's go in. All right. So we're looking for the pseudo. I see one, but it's like $12. That's just not going to work. Let's see if I can find a cheaper option. Okay, next we're looking for pasta. Um, a catini. Pasta. Hmm. Okay, I found the bucatini. I had to go on the store's website to see if they had it and to see what what aisle it would have been on. Not that it would have been on a different aisle, but um, to make sure I'm not overlooking it. Uh, like a tea. Alright, so I already have garlic. I need peas, frozen peas and red pepper flakes. I think I have red pepper flakes at home, but I'm running low. So I'm gonna get red pepper flakes first and then we'll go get the frozen peas. Red pepper flakes. Okay, so I decided against the red pepper flakes because all they had was um, the big container and so I don't need it that bad um, I have a little bit of red pepper flakes at home and I'll just use that a little bit I do have yeah so we'll save red pepper flakes for a different one I do have some but not a lot
so I have everything for dinner. Um, I have olive oil at home. It's not an expensive olive oil, but it's olive oil. If you don't have olive oil, you could probably substitute with butter. I feel like that would be just as good. Um, and then I have also picked up some garlic toast. If I have pasta, I have to have toast with it. <laughs> We're gonna get, oh, I also picked up heavy cream for dessert. So dinner's already done. I picked up heavy cream for dessert. I have powdered sugar at home. Um, I also have Oreos at home, but I figure I would show you guys how much the, she dropped my keys. Um, how much your Oreos are. And you don't even have to use like the Nabisco Oreos. You could probably use the store brand one if you wanted to. So the Oreos are $4.49 at my store, but you could probably use these Colados or whatever, just because they're going at the bottom. Like it's not like you're eating them by themselves where you would notice the difference. Um, but like I said, I already have Oreos at home. I don't know if I have 20, but we'll make do. Um, I have vanilla extract at home already, powdered sugar, and then I got the heavy whipped cream, as you guys saw. So that is it. Let me double check my recipe to make sure I have everything before we leave. All right, so change of plan. I am going to get the Oreos as well. <laughs> Um, just because I need 32 and I don't think I have anywhere close to 32. I probably have about 20. So I am going to go with the store brand Oreos. Your total is twenty three oh six. If you have coupons, all right. So I'm back in the car. I'm sorry if you hear my air going, y'all. It, it's it's just too hot to sit here without air on, so I can film this. So. uh I'll try to make this quick, but I went over. Oh my gosh, I went over. I went over. Mm. You know what did it? First of all, it's the, the garlic bread. That was an add-on. I mean, I didn't have to have garlic bread technically, but like I said, like if I do pasta, I have to have garlic bread. And I would have made the garlic bread myself, but I'm out of bread at home. So, if you have bread at home, you can make it, you know, just using regular sliced bread and then add some butter and some garlic powder <laughs> and some parsley flakes on top uh, and stick that in the oven. But like I said, I'm out of bread at home. And then also item that I got was the Oreos, which like I said, I, I I have Oreos at home. I'm not quite sure how many. Um, I think I have about like 15 to 20, um, but I need about 30, a little over 30, 30 Oreos. Um, and so I don't think I'd be able to stretch it that far. So I just went ahead and got an additional thing of Oreos and I'll just use that packet instead of using the ones that I have at home. But um, if I wouldn't have gotten that garlic bread, no, I still would have went over because of the Oreos. The Oreos were like $3 or something. So I probably would have went over about a dollar um, or so. But you can use less Oreos. I just, you know, it is what it is. I went over. I went over. I cannot believe I went over. Challenge failed. Oh, well. Um, okay, so... 
let's get home y'all it is hot it is so hot okay so i thought that we could start with the oreo icebox cake because that's going to take time to set um, we need at least four hours for that to set in the refrigerator okay so for dessert you'll need two cups of heavy whipping cream two tablespoons of powdered sugar one teaspoon of vanilla extract and 32 oreos really well you need 32 oreos for the layers and then you're gonna crush up three oreos to put on top you could use whipped cream if you don't have time to make your um, I'm sorry, pre-made whipped cream if you don't have time to make your own whipped cream. This is what these ingredients are for They're to make our, our whipped cream. But if you wanted to buy pre-made whipped cream, you can do that too. Just let it set until it's soft and then you can spread it um, that way. recipe calls for an 8x8 eight eight cake pan. I do not have an 8x8 eight eight cake pan. Um, so I'm going to try to use this little loaf pan um, for now. Okay, so I changed my mind. I'm just going to go ahead and use this casserole dish. And we're going to start by layering our Oreos. So while we do this, I have a funny story to tell y'all. I am not good with critters being in the house. Um, like bugs or lizards or spiders or whatever it may be. I'm, I'm not okay with that. If this was probably a couple of months ago now, it was one morning, um, I had just fed my baby girl and my husband had just left to go to work. Well, I went to go open up the blinds and as soon as I opened the blinds, something comes running out of the freaking blinds, something green. And I noticed it was a lizard and he's just like staring at me. I'm staring at him trying to figure out who's going to make the first move, right? Of course it's gonna be him because I'm just like, you know, I'm, I'm having a slight heart attack right now. He runs off. I grab her and I, I run to her room and I close the door. Why, why did I do that? that? That was probably one of the dumbest decisions I could have made, right? Like why would I think, oh, maybe if I go run in her room, it'll just disappear. Like. Why was that my first instinct? I grab her and run to the room. And as soon as I get into the room, I immediately regretted my decision. I was just like, well, if I'm in here, I don't know where the, where the lizard's at. <laughs> oh my gosh. I built up the courage to come back out here and stuff. And of course I can't find the lizard. Can't find them, nowhere to be found. 
And so then I had the genius idea, so genius. Maybe if I just blast the air conditioning, the lizard will leave. Because you know, me and all my biology classes and stuff, and my experience with lizards, right? Which is zero, by the way. Maybe the lizard will get too cold and run out because lizards like warmth, right? That was like my mindset. It, like I'm pacing back and forth in the house, trying to figure out, okay, if this lizard doesn't leave, if my plan doesn't work, what am I gonna do? I text my husband and I'm like, hey, there's a lizard in the house, you know, yada, yada, yada. And mind you, he had literally just left for work. He hadn't even been gone for work for 10 minutes. I texted him, he was like, um, okay, well, I'll come home for lunch and take care of it. And, you know, you can't be mad at the man. He has to go to work, right? But in my mind, I'm thinking lunchtime is still breakfast. Like, what am I supposed to do until then with this lizard in my house and my daughter? And, and it's so close to my daughter's room on top of that. Like, what if it gets in her room and claws in her crib? Like, what am I gonna do? What what am I going to do? An hour, about an hour or so passes, I don't see the lizard. And I'm thinking, okay, my air conditioning trick worked, right? So I come out and stuff. I'm looking around, I don't see it. And I'm getting ready to make my daughter lunch. All of a sudden, I spot this lizard and he's like, a lot closer to my bedroom now. He's not gone, he's, he's even further in the house. He just moved away from the vent. Like, I'm like in full panic mode. Like, what am I gonna do? Like, I don't know what to do. I, my dog is not just like a dog that will kill anything. Like she's running away from the lizard as well. Like she has left me to fend for myself, baby girl and I. And so um, I call my mom, just panicking, like, what am I supposed to do? She's like, kill it, like, kill the lizard. And I'm like, <laughs> I can't kill this lizard. I was like, knowing my luck, if I kill this lizard, he's gonna go like into two pieces and then I'm gonna have to deal with two moving pieces of lizard. Like, I, I can't do that broom that I have is very, very cheap. Anytime I try to get stuff out of the house with a broom, um, my broom just falls apart and it's just, you know, like the brush part falls apart from the handle. And it, it's just, it, I can't do that. I should probably invest in another broom. But um bought the lizard and I'm like, okay, I can't let this, this lizard consume my life. Like, you know, I'm just panicking. I'm ha I'm literally, my blood pressure had the roof at this point because I'm just terrified of the stupid lizard. And I know lizards can't hurt you and yada, 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 yada. But at the end of the day, lizards do not belong in my house. They just don't. My um, husband eventually comes home. I like, I shut the lizard, like I blocked it in. He like crawled into um, one of my like powder bathrooms and stuff and luckily I saw him do it so I was able to grab like a whole bunch of boxes and put it underneath the door so it couldn't crawl out of the bottom of the door he could have probably made it out the top of the door but I was just more so worried about like the bottom and so I'm like good I got him I got him my husband comes home and he like opens up the bathroom door and stuff, because I told him it was in the bathroom, right? The lizard's nowhere to be found. This lizard is, like, he's just nowhere to be found. And I'm like, my husband cannot leave this house without finding this lizard. Like, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do if he doesn't find this lizard. Like, I, I'm gonna have to pack up the dog and the baby, and we're going to have to leave. Like, find a hotel, leave, do not pass up, like, it's gonna be a whole ordeal because I am not staying in this house 
for some more hours without this lizard, with, you know, being found. Like I told my husband, I was like, check in the boxes, right? So of course he checks the boxes, what comes running out? The freaking lizard. The lizard comes running out of the boxes across the freaking living room. Oh, and like, y'all, I don't have a point to the story. There's no point to the story. The point is there was a lizard in the house and I'm scared of lizards and I almost, I thought, I thought that was gonna be, you know, I thought that was just gonna be it for us. Like, I was getting ready to pack up my, my, my baby and my dog and we were gonna have to leave because of this lizard. That's the point. No other point. And I don't know why I just have like this, I'm fine with lizards being outside, but like, I guess growing up and watching like the parent trap and you know, the movie, The Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan, I think there's a couple of parent traps, but the one from the nineties with Lindsay Lohan and like the lizard crawls in, is like on her head and crawls into her mouth. Like that unlocked a new fear in me. I don't want a lizard crawling in my mouth. Definitely don't want it crawling near my baby or in her mouth. Yeah, my husband got rid of the lizard. But that's what happens when you, you leave the freaking door open. Lizards get in the house. So. Wow, that was a, a really drawn out story for no real reason, like no meaningful ending. <laughs> anyway, well, so we have everything layered. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some Oreos, crush them up and put them on top. Cover this with foil and stick it in the refrigerator for four hours. So I'm gonna get started on dinner. Baby girl is up. JJ from Coco Melon is entertaining her right now. He's over for uh, the cooking portion um, of dinner. When she goes back down, I'll come back and regroup with you all. Um, but I'm sure y'all don't wanna hear Coco Melon, so we'll just do a voiceover. All right. The ingredients that you'll need are olive oil, green peas, garlic, Parmesan cheese, salt, red chili pepper flakes, prosciutto, and pasta. I'll have the links to the recipes down below in the description bar. Okay, so as y'all saw, I went ahead and put a pot of water on on the stove and I salted it and now I'm just cutting up the prosciutto into small pieces. Next, I'm going to add my olive oil and prosciutto to a hot pan. While the prosciutto is frying, we're going to add our pasta to the water and I was just trying to show you 
um, the thickness of the pasta. This is the Bucatini. I believe that's what it's called. Bucatini pasta. On camera, it looks like spaghetti. But in real life, it's really like a round circular noodle. This pasta is a little thicker than spaghetti. So once our prosciutto is brown, we're going to drain it on a paper towel and we're going to add our garlic to the same oil. And while our pasta cooks, we're just going to fry our garlic until it's golden brown. Once it's brown, you add your peas and your red pepper flakes. You could also add some salt to this um, at this point, but I'm trying to watch my salt, so I didn't add any additional salt. So once your pasta is done, you're going to take your pasta from the pot and add it to the pan with the garlic and your peas. You don't want to drain your water because you're going to use that water to make your sauce. So I'm using one of those. I don't I don't know what it's called. It's not a ladle, but it's like a pasta spoon thing. You're going to use that to grab your pasta to add to your pan. And then you're going to add your Parmesan cheese and then you're going to ladle some water on and then add some more cheese until you have the right consistency in your sauce that you're wanting. So I kept going back and forth between the little pasta spoon and a spatula because when you add the cheese, like the cheese would get stuck to the pasta spoon so then I'd use the spatula to get the cheese off and yada 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 so um if you see me going between the two utensils that's the reason why once you've reached the right consistency with your sauce you're going to add your prosciutto Ready. <laughs> oh, wow. So I'm just sitting here with baby girl and uh, let's give our dinner a taste. Beer smacking, it's her smacking, it's not me, okay? <laughs> it's pretty good. That bite didn't have any um, prosciutto or uh, peas in it, but the pasta and like the sauce itself is pretty good. So I, I know the next bite's gonna be better. It's not too spicy. Of course, I didn't use all of the red peppers that it, uh, red pepper flake that it recommended. Um, so keep that in mind if you're making it, um, the little amount that I put, which I didn't measure, I don't know. It's just enough spice. Like it's not too, it's not spicy, but it has a kick if that makes any sense. Um, but I would definitely make this again. All in all, it took about 20 minutes, um, to cook, uh, both the pasta and the bread, which is not bad at all. I wanted something quick and easy and cheap. Sit here and enjoy my dinner with baby girl and we will check back in for dessert. Okay, all right. Checking back in. Uh, <laughs> I'm still eating dinner, but I wanted to give an update because I tried the garlic bread. Uh, I do not recommend. 
not terrible. If y'all saw the brand I got, I'm, I'm not even sure what brand it was. It was whatever was on sale. It's not terrible. However, would I fix it if I was making food for other people? Probably not. But is it okay to eat at home? Yes. I probably give the garlic bread probably like a five out of 10, honestly. But the meal isn't about the garlic bread, it's about the pasta. Um, again, if you have like sliced bread at home, you can always make your own garlic bread and save, save money there. It's the end of the night and baby girl is down for the night. I've cleaned the kitchen, done the dishes. So now it's time to taste our dessert. It's not, it's not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. It's light. Like I said, it's not too sweet. It's like the perfect amount of sweetness. But anyway, <sighs> I'm so tired, y'all. <laughs> um, thank you for joining me today. Um, I really had fun. This was quite the challenge. I did go over I think it was like four dollars or something like that um but again if you want to do this challenge yourself there's ways that you could cut back that i didn't necessarily cut back thanks for joining me thanks for all y'all's support thanks for sticking by me is it sticking by sticking with me uh while i was away um as i've continued to show support uh, for me and for my channel and I really do appreciate it um, but anyways that concludes today's video thanks for watching and I will see you guys later bye